following week, I don't know, my hands just took up these threads and the fabric and I started working with it. <laughs> and I'm now working on the third piece. You, I have a, a an Instagram account with most yeah. of my... Yeah. Did you have a look at that? Yes, yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. yes. And you can see this fabric there. Yeah. Because the, the other... The other passion I have had since 2010, I think, are Venetian blinds. You will find a lot of those. Um, well, you must stop me if this is out of your concept. <laughs> no, 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 it's no, all no. good. Yeah. <laughs> all good. There was, um, um, but anyway, maybe later to the Venetian blinds. But I have been working with these Venetian blinds since 2010. And now with the fabric and the stitching, and I was there, and I don't know, I just combined the one Venetian blind to that fabric, and then I mounted it all to a piece of wood that I had, which is actually a shelf that I found in the street here in my neighborhood. And there we go. And <laughs> I really like it. So that's how my process is. Okay. It, it happens. It's, you know, I, uh, I don't worry about what it is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And the next question is, who and what have been your biggest influences in art making and your process? Um... My all-time favorite artist is Donald Judd. Uh, I have even been to Marfa, Texas, where he installed. He, he bought half of Marfa. Did you hear of Marfa, Texas? No. Mm -hmm. Well, you can Google it. M A R F A. Yeah. It's a amazing place. Um, and uh, but. Donald Judd does, of course, very different stuff to my art. This is all very minimal and very, very, very kind of modernist, right angled. And I love that. Yeah. But I cannot yeah. do that. My, my instincts let me do different things. I wish I could do stuff like that. <laughs> uh, but it just doesn't happen. Yeah. So, yeah, Donald Judd, um, who else was there in the sculptural world? Um, I would say Eva Hesse. Um, she was very influential because she also worked with just stuff that she found mm, yeah. and created something, although sometimes or very often, this is Charlie. Oh! Say hello, hello, Charlie. Charlie. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's always hungry. He's on a strong diet and he cannot accept that. <laughs> um, yeah, she even um, used a lot of latex in her work, although she knew that it was ephemeral, that, that it would hold forever. And that's actually uh, the uh, National Gallery of Australia in Canberra. Oh, they own one of these pieces. And they can only kind of show it every 10 years for a short while because light is, uh, helps disintegrating that latex material. Yeah. yeah, so maybe she really was the strongest influence of what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, next question, um, how did you seek out uh, your opportunities? Which opportunities? Um, like, um, in your arts. Oh, you mean uh, um, to to exhibit my art? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, when you go to TAFE. You have a fabulous uh, uh, way to also learn how to apply <clears throat> for an exhibition and how to do your marketing and how you um, 
Well, you learn the whole basic elements of how to be an artist. Because trade mm. is not really a point that they, for them, it's all about making money. But yeah. <laughs> uh, which is fair enough. Yeah. So, um, at the beginning, and that was part of our course, we had to organize an exhibition, group, a group exhibition of the whole class. So we had to go out and we had to find a, a, a gallery space that would, could be hired or we found a, a space that mm. was, did it for free, but I think we didn't, we always had to pay something. Yes. And then we had to organize the whole exhibition from curating, from you know everything to the opening, buying the chip and the wine and, and inviting people do public relations and from the press everything was excellent so you know from there you just um, keep going to kind of build your your name in a very small circle yeah. um, and and you just keep um, looking for opportunities or no not for opportunities you kind of look for, once school is over, you look for um, like-minded artists who you could exhibit with, because solo exhibitions are very expensive. And uh, and also to do it together with other people is more fun and, and more encouraging, you know, you motivate each other. Yeah, um, yeah and, then, and then it goes from there. I mean, in my case, we we were six artists who met at TAFE in these courses, and when TAFE was over, we decided to form a group, and the group was founded in 2009, and we called ourselves the Sydney Art Exchange. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you hear of that? Yeah, 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 yeah we did. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and, and uh, together we, uh, we really came a very long way. At the beginning we, we exhibited our paintings. We were all painters then. And uh, by now we have changed that to um, working on particular projects. And we just had an exhibition at Articulate Project Space. And there's, there, there's an Instagram and a Facebook page of the Sydney Art Exchange. And there's also a website. The website only has the, the paintings and we, we don't update it anymore because... <laughs> I don't know, we kind of got over yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. At the beginning, the plan was to have the website to help us find people who would buy or rent um, our painting. And that worked. And there, now there are so many people who copied us because yeah, we were yeah. the first in 2009. And it worked, really. People found us and we had paintings hanging in offices and in private houses. We were, I mean, we couldn't have lived on it, but we were very successful. Yeah, 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 that's very cool. Uh, um, but then over time, it, it is a lot of work to have a business like that yeah. going. Because, so we are not that interested anymore in selling and hiring out paintings. And nobody yeah. finds us anymore because we have a new website. Much nicer and more up-to-date mm -hmm. and stuff. Anyway, yes, so, so that was the, the group... Um, we always stuck together and worked together over all these years. And but parallel to that, every individual or every one of us did their individual uh, work. You know, yeah. their own yeah. art, whatever they, yeah. we were doing. Okay. So my next question was going to be about how you discovered the mediums you like to use. And just earlier, you were saying somebody gave you um, the fabric. So do you find that's how you discover a lot of your mediums, by chance? Yes. Okay. 